Hey my gummies, I'm Shaba Cube Cool and welcome to It Moves, an horror game made by Snow Howl, I think, and was released May 3rd, 2014. And it was the first I found it on Game Jolt. And it's I think was it survival horror game? But anyway, I haven't been playing a horror game in a while, so we're gonna have fun and try and play this one. I think it's an RPG. I'm not good at those, but I can always try. Let's go. It moves. That's good. I just brightness to so the left bar TV blends into the background and center bar is hardly visible. Uh. Okay, it's on my keyboard and Jeez. Shit. Almost, it's almost completely low. How is that affecting my team? What's there? It's not affecting my video, is it? Oh well. Okay. I think that, that's good, I guess. Bedtime. I don't like the music already. That time is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. Well, it was happy for me. I didn't want to go to bed. Shut up. Shut up, simple blood, please. Okay. Yeah, have you seen my tall turban? I just get, got out of the bat and didn't feel like, you know, putting on makeup and stuff. I'm like, hey, what the hell? I'm gonna put this on my head and make a video. Yeah, that's, that's far ago. I'm tired. I slept like two hours and just wanted to squeeze a, a little video before taking a nap because I'm ready to crash, man. While some children might complain about being put to bed, me, before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video games but mostly when they watch a film they fell asleep when i was a child nighttime was something to truly fear somewhere in the back of my mind it still is this is me this is shut up camp rock please that's enough and i put a musical already Okay. Hi. Okay, I'm back, guys. Seems like I have to forget hubs for this game since it seemed to like to be bitchy. So I went quickly and saw that a tutorial about Xbox DVR, uh, Windows DVR, that is with the Xbox tab. In Windows 10 so I'm gonna try this one and sorry if the, the set face cam is gone but at least my intro is done but the rest of the video will be like this it's really suck but yeah yeah I saw that already I'm sorry I should have skipped it this is me oh shit I got scared there for a second with that woman over there okay chair Can, what can I do? Hey, 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 hey. No. Why the swirly thing? I don't want it. Go away. You wanna go to bed? Shut up, simple plan. Seriously. It's no musical here. Go away. It's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. Okay, that way it, it's weird. Okay, and what? Full of toys and stuff. Not really interesting. Poster from a movie. I got it from my brother. 
It scares the shit out of me. I don't know why. It's a chair. A table. Oh, thanks. I thought it was a bed. Taking no shit, Sherlock. Thank you. That's a lamp. That's a wolf on the wall. Oh, it's a wolf. Yes. I believe I saw that. Wait, uh, what? Oh. Is the... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was wondering what that was. Okay. It wasn't a desk. It was a freaking door. I cannot prove that what happened to me was subjectively, objectively real. But I can swear that I, I will experience was genuine f horror. Yeah. Before, before I heard genuine, I, I said genuine. I used to pronounce it like that until I heard it's genuine. I'm like, oh, okay, I've been mispronouncing. Oh, shit. Singing it wrong, okay? Jeez. Now put the timer. There you go. A fear wish in my life. I'm glad to say has never been equaled. I will relate it to you all now as, as best as I can. Make of it what you will. And I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. Hey, Daddy, you look like Harry Potter. Bye. This is my father. Okay, thanks. Okay. I thought it was say something to me. I just caught was a wacky. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. Okay. This is what you in your room. Uh, those sounds, man. I can't remember exactly when it started. But my apprehension thought was falling asleep seemed to correspond with my being moved into a room of, of my own. Who are you? My mom? This is my mother. Okay. I figured as much. Who's that? A man with a mustache. Doesn't seem to have one. Okay. I don't like this. The, the, the music's creeping me out, man. Mom told me not to touch her stuff, especially this stuff. Okay. What is it? Why well, she wants you to touch it, huh? She got a vibrator in there? That thing's too interesting. Okay. Good. What's in there? What's the closet? There's a bunch of clothes in there. Okay. Well, I have a little feeling that someone's gonna hide in there eventually. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was giving a new bed, I was giving the, bu the bunk bed which we used to share. As I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the, in the top bunk. I never sleep in a top bunk. I'm too scared to fall off. Which seemed far more adventurous to me. Oh, that's good. You live on a... I can go... I can go there? That's the door. Hey, Dad. Shit. What type of font is that? Don't go pulling out too much stuff now. It's bedtime, so... I'm gonna try and do voices again. Okay. Okay, same, same stuff. I don't care. Oh shit. Those doors, man. Hello? Hi! Ah! Mom. Hi, Mom. Alright, it's bedtime. Yay, I guess. Already? Yes, I don't need, need their sleep, you see? You'll be sleeping alone for the first time. Yay. You excited? No. Yes, Mom. Yay, so much enthusiasm. Mm. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All right, I turn off the lights. Good night. Yeah, please don't. Good night. Shit. Must you close your eyes? No? 
Okay. I love it. Save? Uh, heck yes, what the fuck is that? Of course I'm saving. It'd be stupid not to. What the hell is that, man? I don't want to touch it. Where is it? I don't touch me. Can I? I don't want to cross its path. Oh shit, was that in corner? Go. No, it's just a butterfly. <laughs> uh, I'm freaking out. I was like, oh, butterfly. I don't know what that is. I don't want to touch it. I, I okay. <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, no, I don't want that. Uh, there's a butterfly on the roof. Mommy? Mommy? There's a butterfly on this I don't know what he is, but. Uh, oh shit, okay. No, don't come after me, please. I'm such a wuss. Oh shit. At least it's less bad in Five Nights at Freddy's, but I'm still on edge. I don't like it. I potted some ragged cloth. Okay. I wonder what's cooking. Your mom. Children. I said that they were in Tarzan and then uh, ah! Who the hell are you? Go away the fuck oh, shit <laughs> I don't like this talking is such a strong word I prefer to take a bit of most intense research on the one individual when well, you're gonna do your The way you're missing suckies under your bed with me. Oh hell no! I'm not. Just kidding. Oh fuck. Well, you can't keep it. I don't want it anymore. A cold and welcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Do I want to go? Do I want to go? Uh, okay. Shivers, I don't like. Oh shit. The shiver's so bad, man. I felt it from the bottom of my spine. The fuck? Okay. Oh, it, hey, he's a big guy from everywhere. It's the same noise. What the fuck? Where's mushroom? Looks poisonous. Oh god. What the fuck? Why take sparkling here? That's a mushroom, too, isn't it? Oh god, the clowns, man. Please help. That day's a recording. I'll be right back, guys. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. I I changed the resolution since I saw that it was shitty. I wish you stopped that, you asshole. It's the creature from upstairs. <laughs> God, wh why do I go there? <gasps> oh shit! Oh, no, 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 no! Go fuck yourself. Then I wanna go further. How do we? I should go back. Oh shit. Hell to the no. I'm going back. Go fuck yourself. Hell no. I ain't going. I'm going back upstairs. Go fuck yourself, dude. Hell no. The big face is creeping me out. I'm going back home. Or upstairs. Gonna ask, I'll go outside. If I can. If I don't, well, oh shit, he's not there anymore. Oh no, he's on the side. Oh, he's not there, that's, that's not reassuring. 
Okay, that was necessary. Oh shit, I can't. I can't go I don't wanna go in the hole, Bobby! No! And who's the pedophile up there? What the fuck? Get down from there, man. Mister. There's stairs there. Where can I go? Can I go this way? Uh, no? Obviously not. Can I go in water? I'm gonna drown myself. Rather drown myself than go in that hole with the face. I don't wanna. And the, the stalker is gone. I'll stay here. I have no choice to go. God. Why do they even ask me? Just go down. Don't ask me my opinion. Because you don't care. Upstairs, go for yourself. Oh, God, fuck you. Okay, can I read these ones? Oh, fuck, F you, man. Oh, fuck. Is that random every day? Okay, no. Okay, just. Did 
don't care. Hey, gonna jump on you. Mommy, you're not dead, are you? Mom, I had a bad dream. Okay, I was afraid for a second. Sweetie, what's wrong? I just told you. I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be out in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. His dad sleeps with his glasses on. Alright, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Don't fall back around and sleep. My mom used to tell me that. Oh, mommy's gonna wake up in five minutes. And so the day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. Okay. I won't bother you with details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. Oh shit. I figured as much. That's how I'm feeling right now. Hey. Fuck. The hell? Which one? Frowny face. Deep frowny face, man. That's one is unhappy as shit. Hey, fuck you. That's one's really happy? of those things anyways. Did they open the gates? The, the, the little shit here? Oh, okay, no. No, they don't. Where do I go? Hey, where do I go? Oh, I think you were the road side. Why can I go? Why? Go! Okay, uh... Not press this one. Go press this one after. Ah, shit! Uh, puzzle is shit. Okay. I'm gonna put really my rent on here. Shut your face. Ah, oh, finally, good. Cool. Instruction on how to use a fire extinguisher. Okay, cool. That's just nice. Freaking music that's making me nervous! Get out of my face, please. Go. 
away. No, I don't want to see you. Thanks. Go. I have freaking mad, man. What the fuck? Go. Please. Go. Get out of my face. I don't like you. Hey, better not jump in my face because I swear to God. I want it. I want this poster. Oh, yeah. From who? away from the please sleep to something moving or stirring. It can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Uh, what is that? Something was moving. There was no doubt about that. At first I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark and was pitch black. But there was enough light creeping from outside from to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my head, in my mind, almost simultaneously. Wow. The first was that my parents went bed because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise, a noise which had obviously woken me. Something dragging. That was it. Bitch, she's rustling in the dark and someone breathing. As 
this undisturbed sleeper was attempted to get uh, all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. I lay there in disbelief, saying that the noise was either my imagination or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. Or the guy under your bed with your sock it was when I was noticed my door shut as, as it had been as it fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me and the cat had sneak in my room then. Shit. Yes, that must be it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes the vain hope that I could fall back asleep. As I moved the rustling notes around the scene, it ceased. I thought I must be disturbed. I've disturbed my cat. Uh, if your cat makes that much noise, I'm kind of worried there, man. But quickly I realized that the visitor in the bottom bunk was this much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep, but and much more sinister. But if I alerted to and disgruntled the by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. I heard the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity, fear than grip me. Not like the subtle sense of unease I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. Oh shit! It'd be so loud, jump down the bed and run off. Man, I wouldn't just lay there and listen. My heart races and my eyes panicked. How is that possible? Anyway, scanning the almost impenetrable darkness, I let out a cry. Mommy! And most young boys do, I instinctively shouted on my mother. I could hear something strong on the other side of the house. But as I began to breathe, I was relieved that my parents were coming to save me. The bunk beds suddenly started to shake violently as if gripped by an earth earthquake, scrapping against the wall. Oh shit! I could hear the sheets below trashing around as if surrounded by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me. Pulling me into the darkness so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. What's wrong? Do you have a bad dream? I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief streamed down my face. Yet, through all of the, of the horror and the relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been in that bunk would return if I ever so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I do not know. But as a child, I felt as if that the unseen menace remained close, listening. <coughs> My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay here until morning. I remember the next day wanted to go anywhere, be anywhere but in that suffocating room. It was a Saturday and I play outside, quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long sloping garden in the back. We played there often, as much of it was overgrown, and we could hide in the bushes, climbing the huge sycamore tree which towered above all else, and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of our grand adventure. <clears throat> oh hell, to the no, man. As funny as all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room, imaginary slight and in inocious. But for me, that thin boundary was a looking glass into a strange cold pocket of dread. Outside, the lush green surrounded our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, a feeling of something in that room, watching me play, waiting for the night when I would be alone, regularly filled with hate. When may sound strange to you, but by the time my parents are shunned back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. 
And then the night came. <clears throat> Gonna end it here, guys. <clears throat> I went past my timer again, like usual. And... We're gonna go on chapter 3 in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Take on the little like button until it dies. May the gun. Uh, yeah. May the gun drops be with you. And bye bye.